Hi there fellas, uh, Nige back here again with another inbox review and today we're going to be looking at the new Airfix Buccaneer SB, uh, S2B, sorry, okay, 148. Now, this one is the RF one, so the one previous that they released, it was uh, a navy version. This one, as you can see, has got the, the bulged Bombay. Okay, and I believe it was bulls so it could carry more bombs, but also so it could carry a nuclear bomb if needed. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll get the overhead on and we'll get cracking and we'll have a look at the, the plastic. Okay, just so just two minutes. So as always, we will start with the instruction manual and normal Airfix instruction manual for, well, for now. Okay, so this is how they do their, their ones. Now we've got a bit of uh, spiel in English, French, and uh, Dutch. Okay, not Dutch, uh, German. And up the top, you've got the how big it is. So it's gonna be nearly 30 centimeters wide uh, by over 40 centimeters long. Okay, there's four schemes and there's two different build options. So B, aware of that as you are building the, the aircraft so you can have a look at it and then go from there so without further ado straight into page one okay uh some more spiel some more about the assembly instructions and uh some of the icons so straight off it tells you for you to make a, a decision on <coughs> which schemes you're going to build so once we've done the inbox review, uh, once we've done the instructions, we'll go straight to the scheme so you can have a look at them. So we've got scheme A, okay? So scheme A uh, has got where you can drill out the holes to be putting those ordnance on that's at the bottom. We've then got scheme B, okay? And the same for the pylons, okay? Then we have scheme C for the underwing fuel tanks and some pylons. And then scheme D, which again, for some more pylons or some more weapons. Okay, so you need to make a choice quite early within this build so you can drill out the right holes. We then move on to the uh, cockpit parts. And as you can see, We've got the cockpit seats and cockpit panels, and it's telling you already where to put different uh, decals and stuff like that. So you can get it ready to when you want to put it on. Obviously, some people might build this and then put the decals on, but it's telling you where to put the decals, decals on after you've painted. Okay. So now we move into the build proper. Uh, we start with a seat. So... Cushions going on sides uh, with the red part, which parts you already added. We've got the grab handles. We've got uh, decals for harnesses. Uh, so that's the rear seat. Then we've got the front seat, which is slightly different to the rear seat. Also, otherwise, you won't say which one's front, which one's rear. So make sure you mark up which one's which. We've then got the rear instrument panel going on to the front seat so that'd be the main part so hopefully that block there should be able to tell you which one's front or back but i will if it was me i'd mark it underneath which is front and back we then move on to the cockpit tub and wheel bay going on all these separate panels so you can paint these panels separate before then applying them to the model and same with these panels just here along so like so We've then got what looks like the foot pedals or the foot rests going on there, okay? With an arrow to tell you which way is up. We've got the rear bull car egg going in, the instrument panel, uh, the rear seat, the front seat, and then we have got a separate insert for the nose cone. So you can see here, putting your 15 grams in and putting so that's a, a sealed unit which that 
which means you don't have to put in some either side and then glue it in. You've actually got, you can fill that up at any point you want, put your glue in there, glue the lid on, and then it, it keeps it all, all nice. And I know it says 15 grams, but I always put an extra five grams in just to be on the safe side. We then move into the nose section. So we've got the cockpit walls just there and the different panels going on. We've then got this, this section here. This is the insert that goes into the nose. We've got some boarding ladders. So if you want to use the boarding ladders, you'll get the holes there to be able to put the boarding ladders on. And then we've got the other side of the cockpit nose and the other panels going in. We then move on to pointing the cockpit, okay, which is quite comprehensive really, into the uh, nose, okay, and that's showing you how it should sit. Before then, we we line up the other nose section, and you should hear what it says. It should be hearing a click, okay. Before the uh, instrument coning goes on top, and then the reflector sight on, like so. We then move on to looking at the engine. So we've got the engine intakes, okay, that looks like go the most of the length of the aircraft. All right, so where they've done it, they've done it quite well that it's attached to sides and looks like we've got parts of the uh, wheel bays. We've got four locating holes, so when it goes to go, it should go nicely. And those seams should be fairly easily to sort out. That's if you can see them. We then get more parts going on for the engine. Okay, so <clears throat> you've got here the different parts and these will be humbrol colors. Okay, which then slots, this bit slots on. We've then got this another bulkhead that goes into the, uh, I don't know if it's front or rear engine at this moment in time. <clears throat> We've then got a, a wing spar and some engine fans that go in there some uh bulkheads i'm assuming those bulkheads will be let's just see if i can feel, see what they are i don't really know what those bulkheads are but hopefully they might come more apparent as we go along because i don't think oh yes sorry i have just way well, yeah, i was reading it wrong okay so these bulkheads here are going to be for <coughs> the wheel wells so as you can see the arrows go down i thought it was coming down a little bit more further further forward and you can see these arrows go down and they will include a bit of the bulkheads. We've got parts to fill here, okay, that's telling you to sand down. I'm assuming those parts would probably would have been for the Navy version. We then move on to the, let's have a look, the front intakes, okay, so these go on the front and get close together with the fans like so we've got a few uh bits and pieces because i think you can open up the engine cover here if you so wished that go on we've got the engines that go on so looking at all this all the engine it's got a nice detailed engine okay and when we put it in we can't see the engine uh the so these are the intakes the they must be the exhaust they've got to be the exhaust yeah so wings are, so the engine uh, exhaust so you might not even see these so you might not even have to deal with the seam line but it'd be up to yourself whether you do we've then got pipes and what have you going on so miss out built out steps 44 to 46 building model with the engine cover closed c step 61 64 on page 19 is building engine engine cover open so if you're building the engine cover open you would then put these these pipes in just like so okay and you have a a a mask to cover the the actual engine cover part but if you are building it closed you don't need to add those okay we then move on to the upper fuselage and the front part of the wings so we've got uh colors for the undercarriage bay joining those together uh and then we move on to if you want to build it with wings folded. So you've got the wings fold in here. Okay. So this these next steps, we'll be looking at the wings fold. Okay. So we've got the wings fold. 
We've got uh, the wings going together, all the control surfaces going onto the aircraft, okay? Uh, the both side of the wings. Uh, if you are building the wings down, which is the next section, okay, you'd uh, need to get rid of this part here. And then we build the wings built up. As you can see, we've got this big locating uh, part here that should positively fit in with these big chunky bits that go into the fuselage. So you put those on before you put the fuselage together. Okay, and it does tell you that up at the top of there. Then the fuselage gets mounted onto it if you're doing the wings extended. Okay, if you're doing the, the engine open, you can see again, it's showing you to use a, a mass for part of it. And it's got the, the engine cover just there. We've then got the tail going together. The tail with the parts for the speed bait, because you can build this with the speed bait open. We've got the arrestor hook going in. That then joins onto the rear of the aircraft. The cockpit then joins onto the fuselage. We've got the front intakes going on with the intake rings. We have the exhausts or the the burners. Well, there's no burners because it doesn't go. A, it doesn't have an afterburner. Okay, but we've got the the exhaust going onto the aircraft. Okay, and then it's showing you how to position uh, the uh, the control surfaces all the way through. So you've either got uh, in flat or down, so neutral or down. We then move all the way down to the different control surfaces. And then we start looking at this lovely high tail of the Bacchania, which is a big feature of the aircraft. So it's a two-piece with positive locating parts that sandwich together and go onto the tail. Then when the upper tail parts go on, you've got different parts for different parts of the tail, where it's showing you to put, uh, attach there, okay? The tail control services. We then move on to the air brake, okay? So you can see we've got the air brake here. Uh, so you can build this open or closed. So you can see we've got the, the part of the uh, the mechanism going into the rear of the air brake, this big clamshell air brake that this aircraft has. And then you've got down the bottom, you've got it closed. We're then moving into building parts for the Bombay. Okay, so we've got little Oz and Sods, we've got bulkheads going in. Okay, little pipes, uh, the cover, some more pipes going in there, as you can see pipes for in the actual wheel wells uh, and then we have a look at these massively chunky um, undercarriage legs that this aircraft has because it had to be really really robust because it was designed to land on an aircraft carrier okay so you've got the the nose one you've got your main undercarriage ones and then you can sh it shows you how they actually would look okay on the aircraft so from a side view and a front on view we have the uh, undercarriage doors going on again it's telling you where they should go okay we've got then looking at adding the some of the little last odds and sods onto the aircraft so we've got the some pylons some pier tubes uh, some spoilers and all that sort of stuff okay and the rest rocks and all that we've got pilots okay we have got two pilots uh, with this kit and then we're moving on to the clear part so we've got this screen in front of the uh, uh the rear uh person and then we've got the two different windshields one with wiper one's wiperless okay and then we've got the two different canopies one with a deck cord okay and one without whether you can have it open or closed. We've then got uh, the massive refueling rod on this for three of the aircraft, but for on one of them, you don't have them. And then again, some more fins and stuff going on. 
We then move on to the weapons. So we've got a sheet, they've got the Seagull missile. Okay, uh, going on. And it, it even tells you starboard outer, starboard inner, port inner, port outer. Uh, all the bombs going in and all, all the pylons. We've got uh, the tanks. And it's even telling you which aircraft. So A, B up for this one, C for this one. Uh, D, so Sinewinder missiles, Poway Lighter Guided Bomb. Okay, for, for D. We then move on to our ladder, which you, you need to have made sure you drill down. And this one, it has FOD covers. So you've got the, the FOD covers for the front and the rear. And then adding the folded wings on after that. And then we have all the deco placements. So this is the stencil data. So we've got A, B, C and D. Okay, which moves us nicely on to the markings. So with this, you get four markings. So I'll start with A, B. So A, you get a lovely big color pull out. So this is from 1993 RES uh, Lossy Mouth. Okay, so the normal uh, green and grey wraparound. This one is uh, Germany, 1971. Okay, this is the green and green with uh, the grey belly. And then we've got... Op, uh, 208 Squadron from Op Red Flag from 1977. So this is a dark earth and khaki wrap around, but with a green tail. And then we've got Op Granbury or Desert Storm, whichever you prefer. Okay, uh, in the what? Well, well, the desert pink, as they call it. Okay, so that's the color callouts. Uh, as we've got them here, we'll just have a quick look at the decal before we move on to the plastic. Uh, you will not have an issue with these. These are all going to be Cartscraft decals. They are all uber, uber thin. Okay, they look absolutely spot on. All right. Some of the best decals going uh, on the market are Cartograph. So really no issue. And I like how airfix tend to do it they tend to do the different markings all as separate and then we have our stencil data up the top so i'll just put them to one side quite a big sheet so hopefully it stays over there before we move on to a plastic so this is sprue if i can find it which i can't sprue c okay so wings uh, some control surfaces and straight off we can see we have got lots of really nice rivet detail on this and it's the harder plastic it's not the blue gray plastic it's solid gray plastic and you can see some really really nice detail on there turn it over okay nothing really to write home about all right we can see these positive locating parts on here might have to get rid of some of these uh, pin marks just to make sure you get a flat surface to but that shouldn't be too easy uh, they are more positive ones than negative ones so they stick up as well than than in next up we have some of these smaller parts so we've got parts of the engine the pilots uh, so this is through B, so I'll turn it up my right way around. So we've got the the engine intakes, uh, one of the engines itself, some of the the fans, and then we've got the the tail uh, air brake. And straight away, again, some lovely rivet detail, some lovely recessed panels. Okay. 
some really nice fan detail there on both the compressor fans one of the bulkheads and some of the bulkheads for the uh, wheel wells uh, bombay bulkhead there's that bit i was talking about for installing uh in the nose for adding the weight front nose nothing really in there but i don't know if you're really going to see much in there but you could add bits and pieces next one uh sprue d and this is the weapons and all the uh fuel tanks oh sorry so it should say the few, two fuel tanks so we've got our bombs our missiles our stencil data okay not stencil data our pylons and again there's some lovely detail on these pylons all right not much detail on the the bombs or the rockets to really write home about as you can see that one's got a slight warp to it though i've got one there don't know if you can see that that one there it's got a slight warp to it but hopefully it should clamp down nicely the rest of the aircraft uh the weapons are okay we then move on to sprue a so upper and lower fuselage tail nose clamshell so we'll start off over this side and we can see we've got some nice detail on the nose okay we had the lovely raised and recessed detail on the clamshell air brake before we move on to that massive t-type tail just there which looks absolutely lovely cockpit detail well there won't be any cockpit detail because it's all in separate panels so we'll have a look at that in a minute uh lower and upper uh fuselage so we'll start with the upper again some really nice uh recess and raised detail before we move on to the bomb bay and they've rendered that really really well some nice uh panels and what have you in there it looks really really nice and with that fully loaded out with bombs and whatever, it should look quite, quite cool. So then we start moving on to the seats. So we've got uh, and other odds and sods. So we've got instrument panels over here. Again, really nice, nicely done. We have our seats. Okay, we've got our wheels. This has got weight on wheels. And I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but we've got the little crease on the wheel. I'll be able to show you again on the main wheel. So that's a nose wheel. All the panels that we needed are all down this side. And they all look lovely. we then got our uh, main undercarriage base. And as you can see, that's actually a really big part. And there's no... There's no ejection pin marks in there at all. So they have done that really, really well. Okay. Because it's not a two part. So a bit that sandwiched together. That's a one solid piece. Okay. So done that really well. Onto the, the, no, the main wheels. And you can see how the weight on wheel. And we've got the little creases in the tyres. So that's a nice touch. The really solid undercarriage uh for the main and the nose and the the pipe so uh, a really really nice sprue there next up we have our some more bombs and pylons and we have our bomb bay cover okay our some more slipper tanks okay the arrestor hook part all right, and I like how they've put, put an arrow, show the arrow that bits in to the actual, uh, that's to the front of the aircraft. And last but not least, we have parts of the boarding ladder. We have the, uh, the engine cover part here. So we've got a mass part and the actual engine cover itself. Tubings. Uh, pit tubes, uh, maybe some uh, hoses, okay, some braided hoses, three of them, four of them even, and some other little 
the little blades and pieces as well as the fod covers just there that moves us on to the clear parts now we never have a problem with edard clear parts uh, edard air fits clear parts and Again, we have no issue. A really big part there, and there's no seam down it. Okay, a lot of the a lot of other companies they would build would would have it, and they did have a seam down that. As you can see, we've got no seam. We have our deck cord there. Okay, so really really nice, and we've got the two windscreens: one with the wiper blade and one without. So there we are. Airfix's new 148 RAF Buccaneer. Now this is the first time I've seen this. I've not seen the uh, the Navy one because I always wanted this one. I always wanted to wait until the RAF one came out. I'm not saying I'm not going to get the RAF one, but I have always waited until this one was uh, coming out. And what I can say, uh, Airfix have gone up a step. You know, with a Sea King, with a Gannet with this they they're really raising their game and to put something like on that on those uh those main wheel bay covers without any injection pin marks you know it's it's really really top draw stuff okay the 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 fine rivet detail and all that sort of stuff couple that with decals that actually are going to work okay i dad um you won't you won't go far wrong with this uh yes it's it seems an expensive kit at you know retail is what 72 73 pound uh but you actually get a lot of parts in there and it's going to be a big aircraft okay so it's going to be 40 centimeters long in anyone's book that's that's a big aircraft uh if you look at um uh, some of the great war hobby kits uh and what have you they, they are big aircraft and they're really, really expensive. Now, I'm expecting the Great Wall Hobby uh, Warhog to be over £100, believe it or not, when that, that comes out. So, this for 72 and you will get... It, that That's retail, so you will get it cheaper than that, okay? You might see it for 60 to £65 pound in places. We have them on our website. Um, I can't remember what the price is, but I'll put a link down in the bottom. Okay, so yeah, there's they're out there and they're you know really really good price. Okay, anyway, that's me. Enough waffling on. I think it's a really really cracking kit, and I'm looking forward to building it. When I will start it, I don't know. Okay, because I've got I've got a few that are on the go, but I'm I'm hoping to maybe start it this year because it's one of my favourite aircraft. Anyway, that's it from me. I will see you on the next one. Bye for now. Ta. -ra.